Today, we are going to watch a little bit of an older video from 2017 involving some sovereign citizens in the great state of Kentucky who are, uh, or who are subsequently detained for coming into court on criminal charges and using, uh, using the sovereign citizen arguments regarding jurisdiction and the filing of victimless crimes to try to defeat their case. Hello everybody, welcome to the Common Sense Academy. I'm your host, Joe Palmetto, Joe the Lawyer. I got a, an old video here from 2017 that I'm going to put up, do a quick legal analysis of, have some fun, cut two sovereign citizens who come into court using the sovereign citizen stuff. They both end up in jail. We see a no-nonsense judge. It's fun and we're going to learn a little bit. Uh, if you like my channel, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Sign up for my email list. It's free. You get a free PDF of a history and examination of the sovereign citizen movement written by Joe Pometto. Uh, written by myself. Just sign up for my email list. Totally free. Okay. I'm going to send you more free stuff. You can always unsubscribe. It's a button away. Also, please subscribe to this channel. I'm trying to get subscriptions. So subscribe to this channel. Get me to 10,000 and YouTube will give me new features. I can make better videos. Now, before we start, I don't have any Kentucky bourbon in my cup today. What I have instead is some coffee. I love coffee. That's one of my favorite drinks though I do like Kentucky bourbon and whiskey. So let's go ahead, uh, let's do our same time sip here in a little bit of a southern style. Raise your glass in the hand. Cheers with me because it tastes better when we sip together. Cheers. Now let's watch this video. Uh, Keisha Johnson. Um, yeah, Keisha Johnson. Come on up here, ma'am. No, you got to come stand on this podium. I, I get, the laws of the state of Kentucky. Come up here and stand at this podium. I have to get you on the record so that people, so that we can see you. Uh, with your argument. Okay, well, for on the record, I'm going to put my record on the No. All right, and uh, now, do you have a lawyer? No. Uh, it looks like somebody named Klein. And, uh, you have appointed to you? No, nobody appointed it to you. Klein was somebody who, let me look at this, Miss Johnson. No, I don't think so. Let me look. Let me look. Dale Warren was once your lawyer. You know Dale Warren? Okay. All right. So you want to uh, represent yourself. Is that true, Miss Johnson? Okay. Well, I, Miss Johnson, I really don't want. Uh, to create some big scene. Okay, well, Hang on for a second. I do, I do not want to lock you up, but I may very well have to. I need for you to come up here and stand at this podium. No, you cannot. No, you cannot. You have to come up here and stand at this podium. Yes. What, Miss Johnson? I need to know what you're doing, Miss Johnson. I need you to stand at this podium. All right, next up, Chris. All right, Chris. Chris. Go ahead and lock her up. Go ahead and take her into custody. The 
Some shit over there. Nothing going on. Yeah, I'm not finished with her yet. I'm sorry. She's not finished with her. All right. Come up here and stand at this uh, podium, Miss Johnson. I'm standing here because I'm just standing here on the Okay. So you're refusing to come here and stand in front of the bench. Is that true? No. I'll reserve my right to correct And that's fine, but come up here and stand at this podium. All right. First, I want to talk about you and your case. All right. So you are charged with. Uh, my uh, panic button doesn't work there, by the way. Uh, anyway, you're charged with possession of marijuana, tampering with physical evidence, and possession of drug paraphernalia. I don't understand. All right. Uh, well, you're charged with illegally possession mar uh, possessing marijuana. You are you are charged with uh, tampering with physical evidence and possession of drug paraphernalia. Well, there's not a whole lot more. There's not a whole lot more I can do to try to explain to you. Okay, let's start here. Can you guys prove jurisdiction? Prove jurisdiction. Because I come in under common law. Prove your jurisdiction that you have jurisdiction over me. Over this over this over this case. Prove your jurisdiction. Of course, I proceed to prove your jurisdiction. Show me your jurisdiction. Show me your law. All right. Uh, there are all of our laws are codified in the Kentucky Revised Statute. Show me jurisdiction. Show me okay. law. Hey. There you go. Okay, that's, that's, that's you have jurisdiction. okay, so what else? Uh, now, there's a simple way for me to prove jurisdiction to you, and that would be for me to ask the deputy to take you into custody. I have absolute confidence that I have jurisdiction. You do have formal charges. Formal charges would be a complaint against me and another individual. Mm -hmm. No, they don't have. I don't need another individual. That, that's a citation, correct? Or, okay. That's not All right. Charges. All right. So, what do you want to do about your case today? Prove jurisdiction to me. I don't have to prove jurisdiction yes, you to you. Do. All right. Law, I'm going to prove jurisdiction to you right now. I'm going to ask the deputy to go ahead and take you into custody. Under what charges? Under, the, Under what charges? You are disrupting right. my court. I don't know where these people. Are. I don't know. All right, we're going to pass her case to tomorrow. Well, hello there, everybody. All of our laws are codified in the Kentucky Revised Statute. I hope you enjoyed my southern accent there. I don't know how good it was. I'll take another crack at it. We just got to watch this video. This is an old one. You can see it's from 2017. All right. Uh, sometimes I go back, grab some old videos, and we look at those just for fun. Uh, you can see these two uh, females were charged with drug possession and a couple other uh, ancillary charges. They come into court. At first, they don't want to walk past the magical force field. We've seen this before. Sovereign citizens believe that if you walk past a certain uh, line in the courtroom, which is generally, I guess, uh, I don't know what even know what it's called, the um, the body of the courtroom itself, past the gallery. If you walk past that line, you're giving jurisdiction to the court because you know they don't have jurisdiction over you otherwise. Let me tell you something: they got jurisdiction over you. Uh, whether you're at your house, as long as you're in the county that you're being taken to court, there's going to be some sort of jurisdiction over your body. Uh, one second here. Let me take a sip. 
So she will not come up to the podium and she says, what are the laws? What are the laws that you're taking me under? And he says, the laws are the state of Kentucky. The laws are the, 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 the laws of the state of Kentucky. Uh, come on up to the podium, walk Pat, walk into the magical force field. Um, he says there, he says, I do not, I do not want to lock you up, but I will if I have to. And, uh, and then he follows through on it, okay? Because she won't, he can't hear her back there, number one, and she won't walk up to the podium so he can hear her. So the deputies do what they have to do and they lock her up. Now look, I'm not one into uh, police brutality. I, I, don't, I don't like to see people physically coerced into situations. But, uh, you know, he, the judge was was this this was a no nonsense judge okay this was a no nonsense judge i some of these judges that we watch some of these ones up in keen um you know they put up with so much crap but you can see that's a full courtroom this judge isn't having it he needs to get court done boom throws her into jail so what happens next what happens next is now it's her friend's turn, likely co-defendant on the case, charged uh, with drug possession also. She sees the lessons from the last girl who was just um, put into the bullpen, and she walks up to the podium, and she also says to the judge, show me the law, show me the jurisdiction. And um, he does. He shows her the law. He picks, he picks up. He picks up the, uh, the revised statute of the Code of Kentucky. And and he shows he shows it to her. <laughs> I mean, come on, ma'am, come on. There were some lawyers that the they may have, may have had before. Please get a lawyer, get a public defender. Don't do this. Don't do this to us. Don't do this to yourself. Okay, she says. Um, she says, "Do I have formal charges?" And he says, "Yes, you do." And she says, "No, there's no charges against another person." Listen to me very closely. There does not have to be a wrong done to another person for you to be in violation of, of state law, federal law, civil law, criminal laws. There are criminal laws that, um, that, that control conduct that does not have an effect directly on another person. But let's be honest here. We live in a society where all of our actions may one way or another have some effect on someone else. Now, I agree victimless crimes don't always need to be taken as seriously, but it, that truly depends on the crime itself, the facts. Each situation is different. Now, are, victim, are crimes with victims the ones that should be taken most seriously? Generally, yes. But you can still have crimes that don't have victims. If we didn't have crimes that didn't have victims, we wouldn't be able to regulate the sale and selling of drugs, what people do uh, on the roadways, um, you know, illegal substances, all kinds of different issues, okay? You have to have these crimes as well, okay? And even if you don't, if they're written into law, they still have the full force of law. So this woman gets the same ride as the last woman does, um, you know, when this judge, you know, he says, he says, all of our, all of our laws are codified in the Kentucky Revised Statute. Um, so don't don't mess with this judge and, and the Kentucky Revised Statute. He doesn't play around, ma'am. He does not play around. I thought it was funny at the end. He's like, I, I, he goes, I don't know where these people come from. Set her case for tomorrow. And what, what what's going to happen is both of them are going to sit overnight until their cases are called tomorrow. And... Uh, and they're going to spend 24 needless hours in jail because, you know, they mess with the wrong Kentucky bourbon Nashville type judge. I like this judge. I like his look. I like his style. Um, thank you very much for tuning in to the Common Sense Academy. Um, oh, and just to say, I've seen judges put people in jail for, 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 and hold them in contempt for cell phone violations. Think about that. So you're coming in here talking this sovereign citizen nonsense. What do you think's going to happen? Okay. So thank you very much tuning into the common sense Academy. I'm your host, Joe Palmetto, Joe, the lawyer, do me a favor. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscriptions. Most of you watching this 
are not subscribed. Most of my views and view time come from non-subscribers. Do me a favor, please subscribe. You don't have to watch every one of my videos. Subscribe for me though, get me to 10,000 and what's gonna happen is I'm gonna be able to use some new split screen features. YouTube gives me all these cool features that I can use to make my videos better. Please subscribe, also like, comment, and share. Thank you. Joe Pometto out.